Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you Cancer. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Cancer friends out there. What can I get for Cancer peace? What is the love message that's meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for you. Thank you Cancer for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Yes, viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Cancer, I invite you to follow me on my Instagram account. And then check out my website. All of the transaction with regards to the Sunshine merchandise, the Manifestation Journal, the private reading, the extended reading, it's done via the website. Okay? And thank you in advance for purchasing the Manifestation Journal. The profit of it goes to my charity. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Thank you. Okay, let's start your reading. Let's get your overall energy in here. Six of Swords in reverse. The Moon card. You're confused. Ten of Pentacles. Um, someone has returned. Or you're dealing with someone in the past. Or someone has returned. There is an existing love energy in here, okay? There's someone. Or energetically, you could not forget someone something of a connection. Um, the moon card in upright position, you're confused, like you're submerged into your feelings. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, you're confused. There are some days that you would like to connect with them. There are some days that you don't wish to be with them. Um, like your your feelings, it's erratic, on and off. Ten of Pentacles, for some of you guys, this person or this situation, it's still around. But you're not seeing its viability. I'm hearing the word viability. Um, it's more of... They're around you, you're connected, you're still talking, but you don't see how pro how it's going to work. Like, you're somehow losing your faith that it's going to work. Because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it means that you have feelings, but it's getting less and less effort. Like, in, or in order for a love connection to work, you need to have feelings. And that feelings, it's built up from the amount of effort and time you spend together. Okay, so... Good memories can convert into romantic feelings. Chemistry, um, calling, texting, being together, intimacy. It all converts to feelings, romantic, and passion. So in here, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, you have feelings. But if you don't spend a lot of time calling, texting, or getting along, you know, it could be that you fight a lot. There's a lot of misunderstanding or there's a lot of... You know, feelings from the past that you haven't moved on or they haven't moved on. It's a mix. And I'm really getting a, a mix of energy in here. That your feelings is strong. But due to the fact of something took place between the two of you, you are losing faith. Or something in the way that preventing you to talk. If you don't talk, if you don't communicate, then how can you make it strong? How can you get back together as a lover? Or as a dating couple, you know, or as a couple, okay? So, yeah, Six of Swords. They will come back or they're still around you. But how can you, you're losing your control on making it work because you don't talk much. You don't spend a lot of time, like quality time. Like it always ends up with a fight or a misunderstanding. So you're at the point where I'm so confused. I have feelings for you, but I don't know how to make it work. Will it work? You know, like you're questioning, will it work? The amount of argument or separation or on and off energy that we got and stability, it's a lot. Will it still work? You know, like you're you're quite in in um in in an energy of yeah. You wanna release it so that you can understand like you're struggling to understand your feelings, like your your feelings is strong. Like in here, your feelings towards your person is strong, but you're also confused because you feel like practically you have feelings. They have feelings for you. But if you don't talk, if you don't connect, if you don't spend time together, then you feel like this feeling will submerge. Like it would drift away. You're worried. You're worried and confused. 
you also feel like you've got competition. Five of Pentacles or Six of Swords. You don't want this person to abandon you. And I honestly feel like your person is still going to come back. You know, this is a return. This is a return. So two cards, two energy telling. The person is still interested. The person is still around you. The person will come back. And this is sitting in your energy. So you don't wish to be abandoned. You wish to return. You wish to cor correct. You wish to connect. You wish to correct. You wish to connect. You don't want to be abandoned. You want to face it. But how can you face it if it's, if it's getting less and less effort to talk? to communicate if the argument is more than the actual love feelings in here okay it's you know this reading for today it's it's not in a cooling point like it's not like something's not cool something is something's telling like it's a, it's in a boiling point like it's some it's in a make it or break it point nine of cups you wish to separate like you wish to forget the feelings so you can forget about the pain. Just for, you know, like you wish to take a break. Like nine of cups. Your, your current feelings is that you wish that you would forget the feelings so that you could forget the person and you could forget, forgive and move on. You wish that like there's something in you that is screaming for help and wanting to just for one day switch off your mind and your feelings thinking about this person like i'm really getting a cancer who could not forget the person and who is somehow scared to lose the person or the connection because you don't want to be abandoned you don't want to be alone nine of cups you wish to be alone for one day and just forget it you know just for one day i want to forget it i want to just not thinking about think about you nine of cups and like you want to set free from something heavy, something heavy in the reading, Cancer. King of Wands. Um, yeah, King of Wands. You still look out for this person. Like you just really want to detach for now and rest your heart and your mind. But you're still willing. Your desired outcome is the King of Wands. You still wanted to face this person, to ask questions, to ask query, to know something, you know. You want to finish the unfinished business. You want to understand the unrequited love. You want to know, even for the last moment, even for the last time, whether you've got a shot or you've, you've got a chance. Right now, you're feeling tired. You're feeling exhausted. You're feeling tired. You feel like it seems to be it's needing a, a time off, a break. You're needing time for yourself. But when you recuperate, you still want to know the ending of this. Yes or no. Make it or break it. You're still interested to know whether it's a yes or no, whether you're going to make it or not. You want to know what's going to be the ending. Let's look at your person's energy. Three of Wands. They've got a plan. Your person is avoiding you. You are suffering from forgetting them or removing or detaching your feelings towards your person. And I think you're, you're, I think you, I think you manage, you will manage to do it nine of cups. You know, when you think of yourself and recuperating and healing, you will manage it. You will be successful on somehow switching off, not think about them. You will be successful. Over the period of time, you will be successful. Because you need to. Because your person is avoiding you. I feel like your person is avoiding you. So in here, and in this reading, you kind of have no choice but to switch off your mind. Because if you keep on waiting, you're just going to get hurt. You're not like, you open your heart. And your heart is open to them. And you don't know when, the, when this person is going to come back. So look after yourself and really heal. And really just focus on you. Your person, they've got a different plan. Uh, your person, they're avoiding you. They're so focused on career, athletic for some of you guys. But the three of wands, their passion is towards life. Not at the moment. Not, not with you or your connection. The way they handle the breakup, the separation or the situation is to, to think about other stuff. To think about sport, to think about their career, to think about money, to think about health, wealth. 
and not to think about you. It's not to bitter you. It's just to want to take a break. Like you, you also wanted to take a break or you're needing to take a break. You are so submerged in your emotion. Your person, the way they act on the breakup or separation or this temporary release, you know, because hangman is in reverse. The way they handle the temporary release or the temporary no talking is to work hard, career. For some of you, this person is heavily, heavily into sport, to sweat, to forget their feelings. You, you're facing your feelings. You're dealing with your feelings because you're cancer, you're water sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign in here, but they deal with a moving on or healing in a different way. Um, let's see how they feel about your current feelings. Oh, yes. Yeah. They don't wish to move on. You know. So you are taking time off. You're, you're going to switch your feelings. I think you would manage that. Your person, they are going to divert their attention to work, career, sweat, sport, friends, eating, drinking, entertainment, three of ones. But they don't wish to forget you as their lovers. So I want you to understand that your person is not moving on. You are still the love of their life. You are the lovers. Remember that. They're just taking the time off by entertainment, but not moving on. So bear in mind that moving on is different from what this person is doing. This person is it's not switching off their feelings. It's not moving on from you and their love for you. Their love for you is strong. Yeah, the love and feelings is strong. They don't wish to move on. They just wish to move on from the fight, from the bitter, from the low vibe energy, but not with you, not with you. No, no, not with you, not with my cancer. They are entertaining themselves, movies, eating, drinking, sleeping, resting. Like they want to divert that excess energy into something productive, into something entertaining. But they don't wish to move on and forget about the lovers. And I think you're aware of that. Okay, I think you're aware of that. In, in this reading, I find your person easy. Okay, we break up. I'm not going to move on. I'm just going to give you time. I'll entertain myself. You, you're so emotional. In this reading, you're really nine of cups. You're crying. You're sad. You're into your emotion because you're a water sign. But you'll be able to manage to get out of that emotion. And Nine of Cups. Enjoy. Release it. Because it's becoming heavy. Okay? Desired outcome. They still would like to end up with you. This is... This is dating. This is dating. This is getting to know. This is, this is dating. This, this is getting to know. This is being friends with you. But it's in reverse. So their, their desired outcome is to, to be exclusive with you. I mean, this is a temporary time off. This is temporary. The way I read your energy, the way you versus your person's energy is that you need to really calm down. You need to assess your feelings. You need to ground your feelings, your emotions, your for some of you, overwhelmingly emotion. You want your person to be passionate again, and they will. Because they're not moving on. They're just resting. It's temporary cool off. They still would like to be exclusive with you. Okay? So take this time as a break from that emotional turmoil, from the fight, from the, you know, from, from whatever took place, from the blockages. Because, you know, you'll be surprised this person is back. You know, it, they're just entertaining themselves. So relax. Don't overthink. You're, a king, you're king of wands. It's returning. Your lover is going to return. They're just fishing. You know, they've gone fishing to entertain themselves, but not to forget you. Okay? So thank you, Cancer. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for your support. I hope you have connected with me. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. Don't forget to check out the manifestation store. I'd appreciate all your support, all your subscribe, all of the things that you do for me and my channels, all of the views. Thank you. I will see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.